Hey everybody, it's uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. Thought I'd do a quick little update this evening. Not a whole lot of change for our cold rain icy event tomorrow, but let me get right to what's happening right now. We'll kind of talk about the situation tomorrow. So you can see real quickly as, as you take a look at the map here, we've got uh, basically temperatures cooling into the 40s, but we've got some really cold air banked up against the mountains. And the mountains in particular, that's an area we're gonna watch uh, overnight into the early morning hours potentially for some icy weather. We've already got some moisture coming in from the south. It's all rain right now, obviously, but you see that moisture coming in and that's a sign of that increasing low level flow. We've got low pressure, which is developing just off the southeast coast. At the same time, we've got a bigger system developing back to the west and this is gonna be the low that kind of transitions to the coast and becomes the driver of this whole mess. So eventually we are going to see that moisture start overspreading this cold air water vapor looks loop looks very impressive when you see this big low out in the plains moving across uh, oklahoma and arkansas that's eventually going to become our nor'easter so when you look at the future cast overnight that moisture starts riding up and over the cold air at the surface so four or five o'clock in the morning we might start to see some rain or freezing rain but it transitions fairly quickly in almost all locations except for a few little spots where it holds on for a while. This system is, <coughs> excuse me, is really dynamic. Um, and it is really going to crank up as it moves past us. But because it's still forming as it moves over our area, it really doesn't have a chance to tap into the deeper moisture. So you can see the winter weather advisories. We already have an effect. All the counties in blue, those are the counties that we're most concerned about right now um, for some light icing. And I really think as you get closer to the foothills, and the Northwest Piedmont, this area in particular, I've been highlighting it for the last couple of days. That to me is an area of concern, but I also think the Eastern facing slopes of the Blue Ridge Mountains are an area that I would generally be concerned about. So let's go hour by hour. This is the latest run of our short range guidance. I'm gonna pause this a couple of times here. I'll stop this around three, four in the morning. I'll stop it right about here. <clears throat> so you could see We've got that cold air trapped right there. Notice the temperature is 31, 32, but across Charlotte, not big deal. It's not a great morning, but that's all just rain. As we go through the early morning hours, we see 6 a.m. Notice the temperatures in Morganton, Hickory, Statesville, hovering near 32, 31, 33 ish. Boone, though, is at 29, and Jefferson's at 30. Notice Boone and Jefferson drop to 29. Morganton drops to 30. We're still above freezing across a big chunk of the Piedmont. So I don't anticipate a lot of road issues because the ground's warm and the air temperatures are right around freezing. And when you have rain falling, it typically doesn't freeze on the ground. It freezes on elevated surfaces, bridges, overpasses possible, but really trees, power lines, railings, decks. Um, but look how quickly it starts changing to all rain by about 10, 11 a.m. <clears throat> so we've seen a lot of delays for school districts to around this region. Pretty good call, honestly, because I do think it'll transition to rain fairly quickly. And you can see by 11 a.m., even in the mountains, the temperature starts warming up above 31. And then we start to see the moisture move out. And by 1 o'clock, everybody's above freezing. So it's a pretty short window there of ice. And then you could see more moisture coming in. But this time, looks like we'll see some snow in the mountains as the colder air starts moving in in the mid and upper levels. So that would be the best chance for snow will be in the mountains probably late Wednesday into Thursday. So here's what I'm thinking as far as totals. I really haven't changed these a lot, though I am a little bit concerned, and I'll show you in a minute, that some of these eastern facing slopes, even down into Burke County in particular, could get really clobbered with some high ice. And I'll just show you why. I was looking at some of our of our rapid refresh models that we use, and they clearly show the ice threat is really confined to the foothills and the eastern facing slopes through tomorrow about, I'm gonna stop this about 3 a.m. or 3 p.m., except 4 p.m. Um, let me put this right here, back this up. I'm gonna zoom in on a couple areas. So notice across the Piedmont, not showing any ice at all, but you get to like South Mountain State Park, you're seeing some, the brushies up here in the Yakin Valley, and then look at Boone, and, and then up here into Allegheny County. So some of these locations potentially could have some significant icing, I mean, especially up into Virginia. So Boone and Jefferson, that would be pretty potent. Um, so for that reason, I'm keeping a close eye on that. Right now, winter storm impacts graphic here for areas along Interstate 40 North. Overall, I think low impacts, except 
if I could highlight these areas right here, I probably would put those in the medium risk just because those are the areas, if we're gonna get a surprise ice event, if it's gonna be overperforming ice, it's gonna be in those areas. Then you move down here to the Piedmont and really I almost didn't put anything on this because I think brief ice in a few locations, maybe some sleet, but overall, it's kind of a non-issue. And just to show you the winter storm impact graphics kind of shows the limited impacts, except for the area that we're worried about right in here. You know, those are the areas of greatest concern. And then you go up into the Northeast and boy, is this going to be a doozy. I mean, you look at some of this, these areas up here, you've got major impact and you see some purple in there with extreme impact. So significant winter storm for areas of the Northeast, but for our area, honestly, it is looking like a uh, kind of a non-event for most of the area except for a few locations right in here where you see the yellow we could see potentially some slick spots so not a great day though weather wise all in all because temperatures are only in the 30s it's going to rain on and off but from an ice and winter standpoint this is kind of a nuisance event low threat event overall if you, if you just want to avoid everything altogether between 6 a.m 6 a.m and noon That'll be probably the worst of it as far as any ice potential after that. It's just a miserable cold rain. Of course, I'll have updates tonight at 11 on WCNC and throughout the night and tomorrow online and on our app. Make sure you grab our app. We'll be pushing updates there throughout the next 24 hours.